Hey there! Today I would like to show you how to create a workspace like this one on Forest Admin from scratch. If you are not familiar with Forest Admin workspaces yet, they are custom interfaces that you can easily build with a drag and drop no code editor. Every Forest Admin user can take advantage of them. They are available on every plan, including the free plan. So let's imagine you are a small business owner or a manager and your team members need to assist your customers when they are on a call. They basically need a dashboard for each customer that shows all the relevant information and the UI that allows you or your team members to quickly handle customer requests. Now let me show you how to build a workspace like this one from scratch. First, you need to go to the layout editor. If you don't see it, please contact your administrator. Now you have two options to start completely from scratch or choose one of the templates. They are very helpful, especially if you're about to create your first workspace. But now I would like to show you how to create one from scratch. I will start by adding a section that will make your workspace more aesthetic. Now we want to display the relevant data once we type a company name in the search box. So let's add a search box. Setting it up is super fast and easy. Just pick a relevant collection and type a placeholder if you need it. Now let's display the name of the company once the search is done. For that, you need to drag and drop a text component and use the templating feature triggered by typing the curly brackets. We want to display the name based on search. Now, to display other customer data, we are going to use the field component. Uh, let's say we want to start by displaying the current plan this user is subscribed to. Let's first give it a name, just current plan, pick search as a source, and the current plan as a field. Now you need to follow the same process for every other company information that is in your database and that you want to display, such as the size, the industry, the number of users, etc. Now it's time to make your workspace interactive by adding buttons. For example, we want to allow team members to quickly change the customer plan. So let's give them a button to do that. The information about the plan is saved in the company collection so we are choosing it. Then the action to trigger is well to change the plan. And again, we link it to the search results. But this time we won't make it visible whilst the workspace is open. We want it to appear only once we pick the company from the search box. So here let's pick only when the source record is selected. Now let's check it. As you can see, it works. And now it's possible to change the user plan, for example, to the pro plan yearly. Again, you can add as many buttons as you want, for example, to cancel the subscription, update user information, remove users, and so on. I'm pretty sure you are also interested in creating dashboards. So maybe let's start by displaying a chart presenting how many users log into our client's platform every week. I am now going to use a chart component. I'm giving it a name and the type will be time-based. Now we are going to fetch the data from the activity collection because that's how this database is organized. We want to see the count, people who logged in, and per week. Now, in order to link it to our search results again, we are going to use filters and templating. So we need a company and its ID, search results, selected records, and ID. Now let's make it always visible and click on save. As you can see, our chart works perfectly and in the same way, you can create as many charts as you want. First of all, we want to display only the invoices that belong to the company from our search results. So I'm going to filter the invoices through the company. We need to fetch the company ID and the search results. 
Now you can also sort your data if you have a lot of results and rearrange the columns if you prefer to move some information forward. Eventually, you can also hide some elements of the UI if you prefer to give it to your team members in a read-only mode, for example. And finally, you can display the component only when another component is visible. For example, the button we created earlier. Now, if you want to display transactions that belong to this company in the second tab, there is a very quick way to do that. Just duplicate the collection you just set up for invoices, move it to the second tab and adjust. I couldn't cover all the features and possible use cases, so I encourage you to explore our components and try them on your own. And then, once you're happy with the result, feel free to move the Workspace tab on the top of this menu and make it the default view. Good luck!